And John, she has a very unusual opening. Uh, at least she's been doing it in practice. I don't know whether she's going to attempt it. A double lutz, but with a split in it. In other words, a split jump, and in the air, she'll get out of the split jump and attempt a double lutz jump. So let's watch for it right here. There's a split and the double lutz. Perfectly executed, a great opening. She knows she has to be good because she's pushing Kathy Mumberg to win it. She's being pushed by Amy Watanabe of Japan to maintain second. She's going to fight it every inch of the way. Italian dance couple. It's very expressive. She's improved a lot in that direction. She is known to be a great jumper and great spinner, but not much interpretation, but we're seeing a vast improvement in that area this year. Triple Salcao. And she, she steps smoothly right into a spin, right from that triple jump. Unusual moves. Watch this Ina Bauer move right into a double axle jump. She missed that one. She landed again, opened up, and landed on two feet. That's a particular toughie. You start out heading in one direction, and to go into the double axle, you have to completely change your course. It's very difficult to get the body working. this Italian champion finished in 10th place in Skate Canada Kitchener. Right now she's second and for a while it looked like she was really going to push Kathy Momberg for first and could still do it. Well, she made up for that missed double axle because she just landed two in a row. Oh. Sienna has more in her program than any of the girls as far as her jumps and spins are concerned. Triple Salcow in hand, Suzanne.